Hi, computer art A students. We're moving on to vector images, and we're going to create these vector images in Illustrator. So if you go down to your dock, you'll see Adobe Illustrator loaded. It's the yellow icon with the AI. We're going to go ahead and create a new document by going up to File, New. And we'll just go ahead and title this one Practice. We're going to work with a print document, and we're just going to use all the defaults. Go ahead and stretch this out. And in order to zoom in and out on Illustrator, you're going to hit Command plus plus or Command minus minus. All right, so if you first look on your tutorial, we're going to learn about aligning and distributing objects. So what we need to learn first is how to use the Tools palette in Illustrator. It looks very similar to Photoshop, but it does have some differences. The first difference is um, you can't right-click to get to the bottom um, tools. What you need to do is hold down, and then you need to just release on the one that you want. The other difference is that you can actually pull off the entire palette. And if you're going to be using all of these frequently, it comes in really handy rather than constantly going back here, holding down your tool, and clicking on the one you want. <coughs> the other difference you'll see um, is your foreground and background look a little bit different. The one that has the hollow inside is um, for creating outlines. Um, in the Adobe products we call those a stroke. So it's just a fancy word for outline. The one that's solid is the one that will be um, filling in or coloring in your shapes. If you'd like to turn any one of these off, there is a none button that has a little red line through it and you would just click on that in order to get rid of an outline or if you wanted to get rid of the fill. I'm just going to default those. Okay, so what we're going to do first is go ahead and find our shapes tool, which is this one right here, and we're going to go to the ellipse. We want to create perfect circles, so we're going to hold down shift to keep that aspect ratio equal. Now this is your um, selection tool, and your selection tool will allow you to make your shapes bigger and smaller. Command Z to go back. And your direct selection tool we're going to learn about a little bit later that's going to um, specifically select your anchors or your paths. But right now we just want to be on the regular selection tool. We're going to go ahead and create a gradient to make these look like they're three-dimensional. So we're going to go over here to our palettes and we're going to pull up our swatches which have a bunch of boxes in it and then we're also going to pull up our gradients which is a rectangle with a fade and you have to rip those off in order for those to come off together all right now in order to create a gradient you're just going to take the colors that you want up here and drag them down so if i didn't want that black on there i can just flick it off and let's do a blue and a green, and I'm going to flick off the white. Now you'll notice that the gradient is linear, so we want to change that to radial. And you'll want to pull your darker color to your right and your lighter color to your left to really get that 3D look. Now you'll notice if I, if I pull in really closely that there's actually um, an outline around that circle. We want to turn that off. So we're going to click on the stroke and then turn that off, and now it looks more three-dimensional. Okay. Now just like in Photoshop, we can create multiple um, uh, items by holding down our, our Alt key. So if I hold down my Alt key and I hold it and then release, I can create as many of these as I'd like. So I have five spheres that have a three-dimensional look to them. And now my goal here is to make sure that they're aligned 
at the top equally, and there's equal amounts of space in between each one. So I'm just going to kind of um, disarray them um, for um, so you can kind of see how um, much it does it. Um, I'm going to pull up my window and then a line palette. And you'll see on your tutorial the two that you want to click on. They're circled there on your um, hard copy tutorial. And it's this one which will align the top. And the one right below it will make them um, spread um, equally. Now let's just say that you want this circle here to be um, out this far and then these distributed in between. You just select them all. All I did was move this one farther out as well as this one and then I just click on this again. You could go in and just change one of your gradients if you wanted. You could save this one by dragging it up here and then let's say you wanted a warmer color for that other one. And pull these apart, darker color on the outside. And that would make a great letterhead or a logo. So that concludes aligning and distributing objects and a brief introduction to Illustrator. Thanks a lot. Bye.